guys. I am back for another session. It's another day, and uh, let's see if we can make some progress today. I uh, just had to redo a little bit of uh, stuff since I didn't save for some reason. So I redid this puzzle, and I think it's where I left off last time. And uh, I turned around and walked out here and found this uh, tape right here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Tape number three. Yeah, I've always got to look for these cockroaches. Let's go ahead and head over to that tape player and see what this says. John, I must stress to you how dangerous these demons really are. I have witnessed a few exorcisms in my time. Not everyone lived to tell the tale. These beings are not alive, and that makes them stronger than us. They entertain themselves with us. They enjoy our fear, causing us pain. They feed off of it. It gives them power, it gives them strength. When one of them becomes attached to one of us, it's all but impossible to stop. They play with our bodies and minds. Does this mean that until they find what they were that looking that woman for, is attached to the no camera? They're no longer human. Attached they to are me? Beyond everything we know, John, I implore <laughs> She's you. She's no longer human. Seek she... help. I'll investigate that woman you told me about, um, Madison Hale, and I'll get back to you as soon as I find something. Keep all of this information away from your son. Get rid of that camera as soon as you get this message, but please, please do be careful. If your child has already had contact with this entity, his life, yours, and your family's are in Mom. jeopardy. Chanel. What have I done? <laughs> I need to find a way to end this. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it burns. <laughs> My body burns. <laughs> Hor horns? <laughs> okay. Okay. Open that book. I think I've seen something like this in the house. Uh, I had maybe that, that uh, skull hanging on the wall, maybe? Go over there in a second, put this tape away. I don't want this stuff on me. Uh, store. Tape. Uh, yeah, I'll keep all this stuff. Stop banging on the wall. What the hell? Got some poltergeist crap going on in here, man. All right, let's let's go. Get all spooked out and stuff. This game's creepy. Okay, I took a picture of the horn thingy on the wall there, that skull, and no, no, no. that did something. No, <laughs> not, not again. No, fuck. I, I can't feel my fingers. What is happening to my body? Puberty? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't know what this could mean. Red light bulb? There was a red light, but everything was dark. I want to look at that picture I just, oops, I just took. I didn't, I didn't even shake it. Is that the picture I just took? Yeah, I guess so. It just says, is that a six? Now if we head back to the red light, I'd be back this way. I 
Warte. Get a little closer. Oh, damn. Okay, well, shit. Okay, guys, I came back down the basement and I guess I just turned off the, uh, generator. The, the doorbell. I, I gotta get to the front door. Which one was the front door again? That was, uh, back towards the office? Oh, come on, I can't see anything. Motherfucker. Hate when they do that. Ugh. <laughs> She's playing with my mind. There is no fucking escape. of any drugs, or if it was actually a witchcraft ritual as indicated by the evidence found at the scene. And, uh... Suggesting the latter, police officers found books at the scene containing strange symbols, candles, dead animals, and one of the more macabre details, photographs of the dismembered limbs of her victims. That's Apparently, the woman photographed the corpses while mutilating them. It is still unclear whether the photos were part of the rites she was carrying out, or if she simply took the photos to immortalize the events. According to official sources, the 43-year-old woman, Madison Hale, and Daniel, are his left leg and three fingers have not been found. The first victim was her own 75-year-old father. Madison mutilated his body in such a way that his face was, was unrecognizable. Before. His body was found in pieces inside the well along with the other corpses. So hmm. far, his left leg and three fingers have not been found. The first victim was her own 75-year-old father. Madison mutilated his body in such a way that his face was unrecognizable. His body was found in pieces inside the well along with the other corpses. So far, his left leg and three fingers have not been found. The first victim was her own 75-year-old father. Madison mutilated his body in such a way that his face was unrecognizable. His body was found in pieces inside the well along with the other corpses. So far... Reports, Madison amputated both of her legs while she was still alive. Good work. Oh, Sounds like something. Hours later, Madison continued to mutilate her body before disposing of it. The second victim was her 71-year-old mother. According to police reports, Madison amputated both of her legs while she was still alive. The woman passed away due to great loss of blood. Hours later, Madison continued to mutilate her body before disposing of it. The second victim was her 71-year-old mother. According to your old man, Madison hit his head with a sharp object repeatedly. The young man died instantly. His body was dismembered as well. The third victim was a 27-year-old man. Madison hit his head with a Maybe sharp object Maybe I can break the wall with something. The young man died instantly. His body was dismembered as well. The third victim was a 27-year-old man. Madison hit his head with a sharp object repeatedly. The young man died instantly. Drake Fletcher? His body Who is that? was dismembered as well. The third victim was a 27-year-old man. Madison hit his head with a sharp object repeatedly. The young man died instantly. His body was dismembered as well. The third victim was a 27-year-old man. Madison hit his head with a sharp object repeatedly. The young man died instantly. His body was dismembered as well. 
The third victim was a 27-year-old man. Madison hit his head with a sharp object repeatedly. The man died instantly. His body was dismembered. Oh, crap. Oh, it's right photos right there. Go right there real quick. The final victim was a 35-year-old woman. Madison stabbed her at her own front Gotta be quick. Ah, listen. Madison hit his head with a sharp object repeatedly. The young man died instantly. His body was dismembered as well. Step back and do it. The third victim was a 27-year-old. Got it. Stabbed her at her own front door. Neighbors witnessed her trail of the body into the house and Never know where they're gonna the be. The woman's body was found unrecognizable in more than 13 pieces. The final victim was a 35-year-old woman. Madison stabbed her at her own front door. Neighbors witnessed her dragging the body into the house and Excuse me. Picture and this thing moves. But how do I know which way to put all of them? I don't know. The final victim was a 35-year-old woman. Madison stabbed her at her own front door. Neighbors witnessed her dragging the body into the house and notified. Guess get all these to you, do you, something. You, 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 Nothing. You, you, no reflection. You, Wait, sharing a moose. I'm definitely gonna have to fast forward through this until I figure out this puzzle. It's five floors, a bunch of coffins, and I gotta get this thing to work with the other things. Where do these point though? It's only got holes in it. Do I wanna point all these towards the mirror? Yeah, that's not annoying. Alright, step back down to the first floor. Quick little break, guys. Into the house and notified the police. His head with a sharp object repeatedly. Have to do some editing. The victim was her 71-year-old mother. Wait, what? I'm stuck. How am I? That was weird. Along with the other corpses. Pause right here and be right back. All right, guys. The first victim was her own 75-year-old father. Annoying. Madison mutilated his body in such a way that his face was unrecognizable. All right, so I don't know if uh, pieces inside the well along with the other corpses. I gotta tell us a puzzle so about what he's saying, maybe. I don't know. First found. victim, second victim, fourth victim. 
The first victim was her own 75 year old father. Father would be. Mutilated his body in such a way that his face was Robert? unrecognizable. Right. His body was found in pieces inside right. the well along with the other corpses. This could be anybody else. So if I take a picture of this one, we'll turn the. Okay, so we're going to number one facing that one, first victim, so okay. His left leg and three fingers have not been found. The first victim was her own 75-year-old father. Now it should be a good one, right? The second victim was her 70-year-old mother. According to police reports, mother. Madison amputated both ah, of her so legs hard. while she was see. still alive. The woman passed away due to great loss of blood. Hours later, Madison continued to mutilate her body before disposing of it. The second victim was her 71-year-old uh, mother. Guessing this one? Oh, I'm the walls here. Oh, my lights off. Good. Already saying you, you, you. Tougher, so I don't know where the clue is on this one now because he's saying you, 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 you. First victim, man, because his first victim was an 87, so it had to be someone in the 87, right? Oh, I can't see the date on that one. Well, let's take a picture of it anyway. Nope, nothing. Alright. Okay, let's head upstairs then. facing the thingy like I thought. So, saying you, so like me in the mirror? Me? Oh, there we go. That's a one. So the first one I had was six. This is a one. If I Hopefully I can remember the damn thing. Uh, clock key? Clocks back in the house. If I can make it back to the house. So 
I guess now we're leaving. Right, that wasn't too bad. That, that was a better puzzle than previous puzzles. Oh, come on, man. Call maintenance. I can't see nothing. Game is so dark. Looks well, like I turned the generator back on. Turn the light back on here. It's like I said, too dark. Can't see nothing. That's some of these clocks. So I'll go start with the first one in the first hallway. I think there's another one right there. And then the one uh, under the red light. Okay, there's nothing for that. Alright, maybe a different one? Okay, uh, maybe I got this wrong. Were there any other clocks besides these three? Or could it be this, 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 this? Oh, okay. This is what the priest was talking about. That thing is... That thing is feeding off of me. What the fuck does this even mean? That house is full of clocks. Tick-tock. Everybody loves tick-tock, right? Put away my damn uh, bolt cutters. I'm gonna go, go grab my bolt cutters real quick. block. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. That's the combination for the safe back in the office. Three left, 12. I'm guessing right. So many of those. Grandpa used to work in here. I think I'll go fucking nuts being in this room. Oh, these damn locked doors everywhere. Alright, so that was three left, right? Yeah, three left, twelve right. And then eight left, I believe, was the last one. I can double check, just run past the bathroom real quick. Three left, twelve right. Twelve right. Eight left, alright. Oh, come on, man, what the fuck? Why does it keep doing crazy shit like that? All these fucking jump scares. Ah! So does it mean just go left three times and then right twelve times, or gotta go like I said, like a, like a like it's a uh, like a clock, you know, one two three. But we'll, we'll try, you know, just one two three, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. Oh shit! I double did it. Damn it! Well, hopefully I didn't overdo it. Try again. Aha! There we go. Sweet. Oh, great. What's the read? This goes into all those different clocks I've seen everywhere. They don't know the combination for that one, though. Ah, come on, man. Fuck. Not ah, cool. Yeah, I think what's making this worse is I'm wearing headphones, so it's like really loud and it scares the shit out of me every time. every time okay shit so how do I know which one I need to get I fucking have no clue because that one they all have different times so oh god this is gonna be a no this is gonna be an annoying puzzle I just <laughs> fuck all right I'll, I'll just put this one there for now and come back 1225, how do I know which one goes in which clock? Cause that clock room got a whole shit ton of them. Let's 
There's a few of them down here. There's that one over there. There's this one. There's this one. Which one do I want? I, I, I really don't know. Yeah, I keep slamming doors. once again when I figure out the puzzle. So, see you soon.